You try not to take everything in the world seriously. But people are really out here not liking eggnog. Why? It's a spiced custard drink. And now it becomes an almond, soy milk, what else? Pumpkin spice, lactate. There's eggnog for everybody. <laughs> Hey Cake Me says it's Marisha. Oh, my neck just cracked and it didn't feel bad. I don't know if they made this like a one size fits all, but one size barely fits my big head. I mean, it's on there because I'm a, I'm a squeeze into something. Ooh, that's not. <laughs> One of the things that I was really nervous about when it comes Christmas time, am I gonna be able to have my eggnog now that I am on this special low carb ketogenic diet? I looked through all the stores for keto eggnog, doesn't exist yet. And I was like, girl, what are you talking about? You went to a whole culinary school, make it yourself. <laughs> the sugar and monk fruit sweetener are one to one. So if you're not doing keto, just Use regular granulated sugar and this is gonna be an amazing recipe for you. I'm not leaving anybody out. And if you feel left out, you comment below and you say, Marisha, I feel left out. Not today. I'm gonna make a delicious pumpkin spice eggnog. Make sure, darlings, that you all subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and press on the notification bell. Woof, what was I going, to the islands? Press on the notification bell and let's get started. are all of the ingredients that I'm going to be using for my eggnog today and I'm showing you what sweetener I use. I use the Lakanto brand monk fruit sweetener. I'm also going to be using some pumpkin spice. You can definitely just do cinnamon if you would like and it is best to use a dark rum for eggnog that's more traditional. Two cups of vanilla flavored unsweetened almond milk as well as two cups of whole milk and then two cups of heavy whipping cream. I have separated 12 eggs from the whites. I'm definitely going to be saving those whites for buttercream later on. I guess I do need the actual mixer to the mixer. I have a large pot here that could easily fit two quarts of milk, not to mention we have to give it a little bit of wiggle room because dairy usually foams and we don't want to have any spillage. I'm going to add all of my milk and my cream. I'm going to bring it to like a simmer, a nice seeping simmer. I have my whisk attachment and I'm going to begin whisking my eggs together. While they whisk, I'm going to gradually add my monk fruit sweetener. We want to dissolve all of the sugar granules or the monk fruit granules and it's going to get light and fluffy. See, this is what I mean by voluptuous right there. It's perfect. I see the simmerage starting to happen. <gasps> hot glue gun. I need a hot glue gun. It's from the dollar store. Okay, we're just gonna sit it there. <laughs> anyway. I don't need much. And I'm gonna put that back onto the heat. Gosh, I'm melting my KitchenAid mixer. We're going to do something that is called tempering. Basically, how we keep the eggs from curdling. It's almost like when you're at a party and there's a bunch of strangers and you're an introvert. It's kind of like you're warming up to them. You see a person that you want to like talk to as they get closer and closer and closer. Then you finally say your hellos and you warm up to them and then it's beautiful. You become best friends. You're out to lunch next week. That's that's basically what we're gonna do here with this hot hot milk and these eggs hey who are you I'm milk what's your name oh I'm egg and Lakanto. nice to meet you I'm just going to begin to tell you some facts about me little by little not too much at all so I don't overwhelm you and make you fall don't curdle at all to me the idea of raw eggnog is absolutely disgusting <laughs> but it was actually cured because it would have so much alcohol in it. But it would have to literally sit with all that rum or whatever it was for about two weeks to be cured. I think I like you. Yeah, I think I like you too. Wanna go out for lunch next week? 
We are lunch next week. Oh, that's right. I did two cups of that hot milk mixture. No curtilage. Everything looks smooth and it is warm. We can invite the big party to the main event. So this is what you think about when you're making a custard. Eggs will start to turn into scrambled eggs at 160 degrees. That's when they are fully cooked. We want to keep this just at 160 degrees. I'm stirring just to bring down the temperature in case it's a little bit too hot. Oh, it's so frothy and gorgeous. Why didn't you tell me you were gonna be this pretty? We're gonna let it simmer for 10 minutes. Oh, but what's the eggnog without the flavor, darling? I am using a vanilla almond milk, so I do have vanilla flavoring in there. Add two teaspoons of vanilla, some cinnamon sticks or some cinnamon. I'm adding enough pumpkin spice to make me say, oh yeah. See, it's all at the top, so it looks like, oh yeah, but it's not yet. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're gonna bring that up to a simmer. We are going to stir occasionally. Then right when you remove it from the heat, you can add your rum, or you can do rum extract. See how it just runs off of the back of the spoon and you can clearly see the spoon? That is how you know it's not thick enough yet. One, you have to drink forever, and one, you'll never have again. Eggnog, apple, Snyder, hot chocolate, or chai tea. For me, I could drink chai tea forever. Eggnog is here to stay. <laughs> They ain't going nowhere. I enjoy hot chocolate every now and then, so I'm gonna get rid of apple cider. That hurts, because I used to be addicted to apple juice and apple cider. The eggnog now coats the spoon. I have a mesh sieve here over a large bowl, because you are bound to have a little egg in there, especially if you didn't get to stir quite enough because you were doing other YouTube videos. <laughs> I'm gonna gently stir so that I don't push any of that egg through. Once you get rid of all of this, you have left behind this gorgeous, smooth eggnog, and it's going to continue to thicken as it chills. What a great way to lure Santa Claus straight to your house first. That way you'll get the best presents. This is the most delicious homemade eggnog ever. Ah, good tour and homemade pumpkin spice eggnog. Bye guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I would drink some eggnog right now, but I am fasting intermittently trying to lose this holiday weight before I gain some of it back at Christmas dinner. I'll do a reenactment. I wanted my cake nieces to be here, but you know, it's like 10 p.m. Mm! It really tastes like eggnog, like it's eggnog, but it's more custardy. We don't need to buy it anymore. We don't need to buy it anymore. I literally did all that. And then I had two more glasses after that, which is probably not keto at that point. Subscribe to the channel, send this to all of your friends. Check my description for the Lakanto Monk Fruit Sweetener. Check out my Etsy shop down below. Check out my favorite cake decorating tools on my Amazon shop down below. I want you guys to join my Cake Nista crew on Facebook because you all are doing holiday baking and I literally don't have a post yet. And for whoever posts first in my group, I want to give you a huge shout out on the next video. Follow me on Instagram at Marisha's underscore couture underscore cakes and my personal page at Marisha's underscore couture. And I'll see you guys soon. Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown. This is the build up a clue on the polar express. Do y'all love the Polar Express? I like it too. It's one of those sleepy time movies. Like you have to lay in bed and just be ready to not be bored, but be internally entertained. Not outwardly. 
really. I like that hot chocolate sequence. Hot chocolate! <laughs> I could use some braces. Hot chocolate! Okay. Sorry.